by your activity, but also by the activity of your team, including your sponsor. So even though Mr. Scott enrolled me into the business, I'm part of his matrix, I have my own matrix, the potential is that Mr. Scott can enroll someone into the business, and not only would that person be part of his matrix, they could also spill over into my matrix. So that's why we always say that the, ma the matrix is based on timing and positioning, and you always want to lock your position in your matrix. Now, each month when an agent who is in your matrix pays their $39.95 monthly overhead for their travel agency, $4 of that money is paid out to you in residual income. Okay, so follow me. Every single month, when the people on your team pay their $39.95 a month to keep their business going, to keep their travel agency up and running, $4 of that $39.95 goes to you in your residual income. So that is where the money is coming from. This is why you see all of us on the 28th, we all hate September, I'm sorry, the 28th of the month, that's when IntelliTravel runs their credit cards. So you have a lot of people who have the 28th as their day for their $39.95 to come out, and if that money's not there, they go on credit hold, and when that person is on credit hold, you don't get that $4 for that person. So it's very important that everybody keeps their lights on by paying their $39.95. I'm gonna go to the chat because I wanna see if there's any questions as I'm going through this. How many of you knew that the $4 a month came from the $39.95? Did anybody know that? Oh, good, good. Maria said, I did, Janine, Tamiko. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So now let's get to the next part, the actual residual income. So this is our three by nine team build matrix. Now, before you can unlock the residual income, you must sell two ITAs. Okay. Now, once you sell two ITAs, you unlock the first two levels of your matrix. Now, here's what I want you to see. On level one, there are three open positions right? And we call these the million dollar seats. Now, I'm going to come over here to this diagram. This is you. Everybody see this? This is you. And then this is your first level. You see there's three levels, right? So the very first person you enroll into the business is going to fall into this first million dollar seat. The second person you enroll to the business is going to fall into this second million dollar seat. And the third person you enrolled to the business is gonna fall into this third million dollar seat. Now, why do we call these the million dollar seats? Well, guess what? Every single person, starting with person number four, they're gonna fall into the matrix of one of these three people, right? So let's say this person is me. Mr. Scott enrolled me, right? And this is me. If I'm slow with building my business, guess what? Mr. Scott could enroll someone who, ap who happens to fall in my million dollar seat. Why? Because I was too slow with trying to fill it myself. And that's why it's so important when you get a new business partner that joins the business, you wanna explain these $3 million seats to them up front and get them to identify Who's gonna go in these seats? Who are the sharpest, most ambitious people that they know and introduce them to the business so that you get to fill your million dollar seats with the right person? That is so, so, so important. And that is something that was not really explained to me well um, when I first started. So Tanya is saying, so why wouldn't he fill his own seats? So great question, Tanya. We don't get to fill our own seats. The computer, will automatically drop a new business partner in the next available seat. I'm gonna repeat that. The computer, when someone joins the business, the computer looks for the next available seat and they just drop someone in there, right? So remember, I'm part of Mr. Scott's matrix. I have my own, but I'm part of his. So if I don't fill my matrix and he's running with the business, someone that, he enrolls into the business, 
could potentially fall into my matrix, which is not a bad thing, let me tell you, right? You want that, that's called spillover. That is a wonderful thing. Um, let me give you guys an example of what spillover can do for your opportunity. Who is the number three income earner? Who knows who, off the top of your head, who the number three income earner is? Orlando. Nope. Nope. Natalie Graham. Natalie Graham is the number three income earner. Who enrolled Natalie Graham? Orlando, Orlando Moore. Okay. So Orlando Moore gets $4 per person that's on Natalie's team. But guess who else Natalie's, guess who else's matrix Natalie Graham fell into? Mr. Moore. No, Mr. Scott. Okay. So he's also getting $4 per person. Oh, wow. That ex explains why he the number six. How exactly. Did, how did she, yeah. How exactly. did she fall into, into his matrix? Spillover. Right? Because Mr. Scott was enrolled by Orlando Moore. So Mr. Scott is part of Orlando's matrix. So think about this. Let's look back at this diagram over here to the left, right? So let's say this is Mr. Moore. And no, let's say this is Mr. Scott, right? This is Mr. Scott and he has three available seats here. Well, Mr. Orlando Moore enrolls Natalie who now fell into Mr. Orlando Moore's matrix, right? Because he enrolled mm -hmm. her. But if Mr. Scott, who was direct to Orlando, if he didn't fill one of these seats, and one of these seats are the next available seat in Mr. Orlando's matrix, that's where Natalie fell, the next available seat. And it just happened to be under Mr. Scott. Wow. This is why it's so important that we tell you guys, don't let that 1995 prevent you from making thousands of dollars. Right. Right. It's it's all about timing and positioning because you have no control over who falls into your matrix. Right. Natalie has over 4000 people in her organization. At four dollars per person per month. That's all. OK, so. Never, ever let that 1995 not get paid to Planet Marketing because you can lose. There are so many people who were not mining their business, maybe didn't realize the credit card expiration date expired, let their 1995 um, not get paid for more than 60 days. And if your Planet Marketing account is not paid, for more than 60 days, you lose your spot in the matrix. I'm gonna repeat that. If your planet marketing account goes more than 60 days without being paid, you lose your spot in your matrix. We have had people lose their entire teams because they let their account go on hold, on credit hold, and they lost their spot. I call it matrix suicide. So you never, you want to make sure, no matter what happens, just make sure you have that $60, please. Make sure you have your $60 set aside so that your business does not go on credit hold because you don't know who's going to spill into your matrix. Now think about this. We're right now in Mexico, right? And our next country that we're going to launch in is going to be in Canada. So there are people in Canada who are gonna join our business and they have the potential of falling into your matrix. Because again, the computer is just gonna drop people in the next available space. Now, once a position has been filled, it can no longer be refilled, right? So let's say, let's say this is me. Well, actually, you know what? We're gonna, I'm gonna explain to you guys what happened to my million dollar seats so that you can really get um, a good picture. So this is me at the top. My first million dollar seat right here went to my dad. And my dad joined both sides of the business. 
And once he realized Planet Marketing was network marketing, my dad did not want anything to do with it because he didn't understand leveraged and residual income. So he didn't want anything to do with it. He left it alone. But he kept the travel side of the business because that made sense to him. Now, the sec so about six months after uh, I was in the business, I'm going through my back office, and I see my dad has 71 people in his matrix. And I'm wondering, how the heck did my dad get 71 people in his matrix? He hasn't enrolled a single person. And so when I went through my back office to see who those 71 people were, they were people that I enrolled into the business, right? people that I enrolled into the business. So again, my dad was in my number one million dollar seat right here. He wasn't filling up his matrix. I just kept enrolling people. So I enrolled person number two, they fell here. I enrolled person number three, they fell here. I enrolled person number four, they fell here. Where's that person number four at? Under my dad. They fell under my dad, right? I enrolled person number five into the business. Where did they fall? under my dad. Why? Because my dad did not fill his million dollar seat. I enrolled person number six, right? Person number seven ended up falling under the person number two. Are you guys seeing that? Do you understand where how this is happening now? How yes. someone can fall into your matrix? Yes. yes. Good, good. Right. So I was running with this business. Right. In eight months, I had 100 people. And 71 of those people fell into my dad's matrix. But it wasn't just my dad. It wasn't just me filling it up. Right. Because then um, I can tell you someone else that fell into my dad's matrix, my husband. Right. So now my husband, who now has a team of 100 people, not only is my husband in my dad's matrix but all of those 100 people that fall under my dad that fall under my husband are also in my dad's matrix so right now my dad's um business brings in over 900 dollars a month in residual income because the people that i enrolled into the business that keep falling in but also other people in the comp in the business like under my husband's account are also part of my dad's matrix, right? Now, so my dad didn't want to do the marketing side, but I called him. Thank God it was my dad. I called him and I said, hey, daddy, I know you don't want to do the marketing side of the business, but I'm going to build that leg of business for you, and I'm going to route that money to your grandson's account. And he said, I don't care. Do what you want to do. So the next nine people that wanted to join the business, guess what? I enrolled them under my dad's account to unlock the full matrix. And so that, that money, that's over $900 a month right now from this one account. And it's spillover from me. And because it's my account, I get a 10% override. Because I'm a gold builder or above, I get a 10% override. So if my dad's account last month brought in $900, the override is $90. So that's why you want to pay close attention to who you're filling your first three seats with. Now, position number two, my second million dollar seat went to a young lady that was with me in a previous big business project. Her name is Stephanie. And Stephanie had a really strong why for doing the business. Stephanie's husband worked construction. And she said, Tanisha, I want to bring my husband home. I don't want him to continue having to work so hard. Construction is hard on his body. So I said, okay, let's build. Well, life happened to Stephanie. Life happens to everybody, right? But successful people keep working on their goals. Well, Stephanie quit her business. Instead of using the business to deal with life, she quit her business to deal with life, right? And now Stephanie has over $400 a month sitting in her matrix that she does not get that money because she quit. But those people that I kept enrolling still spilled over into her matrix. The difference, Planet Marketing does not have to pay that money out. Now, because Stephanie took this spot and she quit, I can no longer refill this spot. It is a dead spot in my matrix. It's a dead spot. And what's sad about it is 
when I think about how many families could use that money and would be appreciative of being in my number two spot, and it went to somebody who quit. If I knew Stephanie was a quitter, I would have never enrolled her in the business. If I understood these $3 million seats, I don't know if I would have picked Stephanie. I mean, she talked a good game. We had a conversation about all these dreams we had with this business, but she quit on me. And it's sad because that, speed, that seat is just missed, right? Now, my number three spot, thank God, went to my bestie, Camette, right? who joined the business because she just wanted to save on her own travel. But once she attended convention, she realized she was leaving some money on the table and she, she got serious with the business, took it and ran with it, right? And now Camet is moments away from being our next three-star director, has a team of over 800 people, right? And whatever Camet gets on a monthly basis in residual income, I get a 10% match on her residual, right? So that is the importance of the million dollar seats. This is why we call these the million dollar seats because you see, starting with person number four, every single person after that is going to fall into the matrix of one of these three people. You guys understand that? I need you to really, really get that. You got your first three people. Every person after that is going to fall into the matrix of one of these three people and they will now have the opportunity to make $4 per person per month just because of their position. Just yep. because of their position. So when you guys enroll new business partners, I really need you to take the time to help them identify their first three people. Right? When I onboard a new business partner now, the first, I don't even talk about the IntelliTravel side first. The first side I talk about is planet marketing. And my, it, it's the game plan interview. What is your why for doing this business? If you had unlimited income and unlimited time, what would your life look like? And once they paint that picture, I say, great, we got the picture. How much do you need a month to live that lifestyle? And I let them tell me what that number is. Right? And then I tie it back yeah. to this. Thank you. Right? Please mute your line. I hear some background noise. So make sure you're helping your brand new people hmm. Um, hmm. identify their top three so that they hmm. can fill their matrix up. All right? I need you to help your brand new people identify, and usually I have them identify six people, right? I say to them, if you had a brand new million dollar company and you had to appoint the president, the vice president, and the CEO, who would you pick, right? Someone who's money motivated, someone who has good work ethic, someone of influence, someone who's already successful, who would that be? And I have them pick three more people for a total of six, just in case those first three are not interested in the business. And then I say, okay, now I want you to send them the peak interest script. We need to expose those top six people first so we can get the right people in these three seats. All right. Does anybody have any questions about the million dollar seats and why they are so important? Please comment in the comments if you understand. Do you understand the million dollar seats better? Miko said yes. Tyra said yes. Carrie said yes. Jackie said yes. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So now let's go back to the $4 per person per month because I really want you guys to understand that as well. Okay. <clears throat> I know this matrix looks a little crazy. It looks a little scary, but do not get analysis paralysis. Remember, to get the $4 per person per month, you need to sell two ITAs, right? Now look at this second column. These, these numbers right here, guys, are open position. These are seats in your matrix, right? So look at this. Level one has three seats. And look over here, one, two, three, right? Level two has nine seats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So every level gets multiplied by three. So what happens is when you enroll two people 
you unlock the first two levels of your matrix, which gives you a total of 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 seats to fill. What is 12 times 4? 48. You got that? Now, if you add 12 plus 27, can someone do the math? <laughs> 12 plus 27? I'm looking in the comments. Nobody did it for me. Thank you. <laughs> 39. 39. If you add 39 times 4, what do you get? 156. Okay, you guys following me? So these are open seats. So once you become a bronze builder, you now, you and your team have 39 seats to fill. And when all of those 39 seats are filled with new business partners, that's now $156 a month in residual income for you. Now, you're a bronze builder, but now you just enrolled your fourth person. So you just unlocked another 81 seats to fill. And once you and your business partners fill up all of these seats, you multiply it times four, that's now $480 a month coming to you, right? So every time you enroll a new business partner, you unlock another level and you unlock more seats to fill. Now, your matrix, everyone's matrix holds 29,523 seats. So if you were to add all of these numbers up, it's 29,523. And if you multiply 29,523 times four, you get $118,092. Does that help you all understand the matrix a little better? And you see how we get these numbers now, right? There we go, awesome. It's so, so important that you understand how you make your money, so important. And doesn't it make you now wanna be a little bit more selective about who you enroll in the business, <laughs> right? So just remember, these are open seats that you and your new business partners, and guys, here's what I really want you to see. Remember, your matrix holds 29,523 seats. You do not want ITA onlys in your matrix because they cannot help you fill those 29,523 seats. You want builders. You want some people that are going to help you fill your matrix. And an ITA only cannot do that, right? Even more so. For those of you that are truly fighting for your financial freedom, you only have until we hit 100,000 active agents to make the money, right? We are at 45,000 active agents. Once we hit 100,000, that sends the company into momentum and you miss the window to become flat out wealthy. You do not have time if, and, 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 and I'm saying this, if, and I'm only speaking to the people who are fighting for financial freedom. If you join this business to just save money on your travel, you are not who I'm talking to. If you join this business because you're planning a family reunion and it made sense for you to make the commission on that, you are not the person that I'm talking to. I'm talking to the people who join this business because they want to become financially free. The people who have a desire to make six figures, seven figures, that's who I'm talking to. If that is your goal, you don't have time to focus on travel. You're wasting time, right? I'm, really quickly, I'm gonna explain to you the four stages of a network marketing company so that you understand better why you need to operate with a sense of urgency, right? I know you constantly hear Mr. Orlando Moore, you know, saying that we need to you know, expose people as fast as possible, build as fast as possible before we go into momentum. But let me explain to you the four stages of a network marketing company so that you understand why he's saying that. That's important. When someone, a group of people get together and say, hey, let's start a network marketing company. That is called formulation. 
So it's a group of people coming together and they're saying, hey, we're gonna start a new network marketing company. We don't have a compensation plan yet. We don't know where we're gonna build and we don't know anything yet, but it's a concept. The people who join a network marketing company during formulation and they build a team and the company makes it long-term, those people become flat out wealthy and they will make life-changing income. When did formulation happen? October 15th of 2015, when Planet Marketing launched and Mr. Shedrick White became the first person in Planet Marketing. Ann Jones became the second person in Planet Marketing. Orlando Moore was the third person in Planet, oh, you following me? The people who got started on day one joined during formulation and that's why you'll see a lot of the uh, ring wearers, some of them are one-star directors. And you're like, how are they a one-star director and they have a sapphire ring, right? Because they were there during formulation. Think about all the spillover they got. You following me, guys? Right? Now, stage two. The second stage of a network marketing company is concentration. So concentration is now when the network marketing company is formed, right? They got their compensation plan, they got their product, and now the representatives are going into these new markets saying, hey, we're Planet Marketing, we're a brand new network marketing company, come join us, we're gonna be a household name, we're building a legacy, come and join us. The people who join a network marketing company during concentration, if they build a team, and the company makes it long term, those people will become flat out wealthy and make life changing income. We are in concentration right now. And this is why you want to build because the stage after concentration is momentum. Momentum is going to kick in for planet marketing at 100,000 active agents. And now what happens with Momentum, everybody in the world has heard of Planet Marketing. They know who we are and they're gonna join, but they're looking to see whose team do I wanna join? The way Momentum was explained to me, you know how guys now, you know, it's hard for us to sign up one person, right? We work really hard to get one person enrolled in a week, right? When momentum kicks in, you're gonna have people jumping in your inbox saying, I wanna join, I wanna join, I wanna join. And you're gonna have 10, 20, 30 people joining your, your business a week, right? Imagine 10 people joining your business a day, right? You're gonna have tens, maybe hundreds of people joining a week. That's what happens during momentum. So the people who join a network marketing company during momentum, they could become rich, but they missed the window to become flat out wealthy. They missed it. They had to get in before we hit 100,000. We're at 45,000 right now, guys. We will hit 100,000 by next summer. So at best, you have one year to build the biggest team you can to take advantage of momentum, one year. And some of you are playing around with this. I know I did a post the other day asking how many peak messages did you send? And a few of you responded. And my question to each one of the people that responded was, could you have done more? And every single person said, yes, I could have done more. Guys, this is the time for you to be pushing your limits. Right now, Nicole said she could not hear me. Can the rest of you hear me? An issue we can hear you. Hmm. No one can hear me? Now I can. Good. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what happened with that. Um, but let me go back and repeat what I just said. I did a post the other day that asked how many peak interest messages did you send yesterday and i received several replies and to every single person that replied you know some people said i sent 20 i sent 30 whatever i asked 
could you have done more? And every single person said, yes, I could have done more. This is the time for you guys to do more. This is not the time for you to do half effort, 50% effort, 60% effort. This is the time for you to be going all in at 100% because we are in concentration. And if you wait until we go into momentum to say, okay, now I'm going to give it 100%, you've missed the window. You've missed it. I remember hearing um, Director Michael Banks out of Tampa, and I believe he was referring to he was referring to the other travel company, YTB, the first one that Mr. Bradley was with. And Mr. Bradley had uh, approached him about the business, and you know he told him no, he wasn't interested. Well, at some point, Michael Banks decided to get started in the business but he joined during momentum. And so I heard him say he missed the window and he wasn't gonna make, he wasn't gonna miss it this time, which is why he is all in and running with this business opportunity. So that's why you hear Mr. Orlando Moore say, we are at a moment in time. That's what he's referring to. The moment is from 45,000 to 100,000. That's the moment. And if you guys are not, going 100% to build as fast as you can, as wide as you can, you are missing the boat. We're talking about the difference between making just a million dollars and making multi-million dollars. That's what it looks like. Now, the last stage of a network marketing company is stability. That's when the market is saturated, right? That's when, think of companies like Mary Kay, Avon, they're in stability. All of us know at least five Mary Kay reps and five Avon reps, saturated. If anybody was to sign up, and they still do, there are people joining Mary Kay and Avon every single day. But what are the chances of someone joining Mary Kay today becoming a millionaire? Slim and none. It's just not going to happen because the market is saturated that person would have had to join Mary Kay during their first five years. Maybe even their first 10 years. If they would have joined during then, right, either during formulation or concentration, they'd be multimillionaires right now. But to join Mary Kay now, during stability, the only thing they're going to make, supplemental income. What do I consider supplemental income? Maybe 500 a month, maybe 300. Right, so if you join a network marketing company during stability, the only thing you're gonna make is supplemental income. You miss the window to become flat out wealthy and you miss the window to make life changing income. The only thing you're gonna make is supplemental income. And that's if you do the work and you gotta work extra hard because now you're competing with the other 50,000 Mary Kay reps that are out there. But when you look at where we are as a company, the market is wide open. I think in New Jersey, we have, what, 179 agents, right? I was looking in Belize. There's only two. Look at that ITA map. It's in the Planet Marketing Now blog. And look how many agents we have in the different countries and in the different states. The market is wide open because we're in concentration. So this is when you guys are supposed to be going for it. This is why I don't book travel. I don't have time. I don't want a one-time commission. I'm trying to fight for my family's financial future. So for me, personally, because I desire to be a multimillionaire, I have to spend my time where I'm going to make my money. And that's going to be with building a team. Now, I still go to some of the trainings and stuff because I want to be educated on the travel side because I do have a team. And when you guys ask questions, I want to at least be able to direct you in the right place right, to get the information. Now, once we hit 100,000, I may dive into the travel side a little more, right? Because by then I'm gonna have a huge team, right? And it's almost gonna be on autopilot. That money's gonna be growing out of control because momentum is happening. So this is why it's so important and I really wanted to take the time, and again, I wanna thank Tamikia Smith for bringing this topic up as a training um, because you guys have to know where the money is and how important it is for you to get the right people 
in these million dollar seats and how important it is to not sign ITA onlys. Do not lead with travel when you're speaking to someone about this business. You wanna lead with the business opportunity. So that is the training for tonight. Um, please unmute yourself if you have a question. And let me know, was this helpful for you? All right, Debbie said, totally understand so much better. Very helpful, yes, very helpful, absolutely helpful. Absolutely, this was helpful. Thank you, thank you, thanks. Everything was helpful. Great, awesome. Thank you, Thelma. Anybody have any questions? Feel free to unmute yourself. And if you miss something, please ask the question. I have no problem with going back and repeating because maybe you're not the only person who missed something. So please unmute, yes. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off. I just want to make sure I got my question in because I know a lot of people are on. But can you just go over concentration one more time? Absolutely, absolutely. So concentration is the second phase of a network marketing company. And that is where they have their product, they have the compensation plan, everything is in place. And now they're going into the different markets saying, hey, we're Planet Marketing. Are you interested in earning some extra income? Join our company. Oh, you haven't heard of us? Well, that's because we're new. We're only three and a half years old, but you know, we already have 45,000 active agents. Come and join us. That's concentration. That's where we are right now, right? But once the word is out and everybody has heard of us, then that sends us into momentum because now everybody's heard of us. They know it's a great business. They see the documentation is all around them. You have multimillionaires, right? You have hundreds of um, six-figure income earners, right? They see the evidence is all around them. They're going to join, but they're saying, whose team do I want to join? Who looks like they have good leadership? Whose team is on the move? Who's documented? Who's at least a gold builder? Who's hit DIT? That's who I want to join. That's concentration. That's where we are right now. But once we hit 100,000 active agents, now we've left concentration and we've gone into momentum. Does that help, Janine? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I have a question, Tanisha. Yes. So you had mentioned earlier about when your dad gave up his seat or whatever and that one seat or when the second person left, that seat can't ever be filled again. Right. Is that only if you get that fourth person or is that just once your first three are filled, they're filled forever? They're filled forever. Perfect. They are filled forever. But what's so awesome about our matrix is that it is a compressed matrix. It is a compressed matrix. So I want you guys to imagine that your matrix looks like a Connect Four game. You guys know the Connect Four, you drop the little circles in, right? Well, imagine you have some of those filled in, but then you have some empty spaces. And imagine those empty circles are people who have quit the business. Right? So now you have some, some spaces in your Connect Four filled in, but then you have others that are empty because those are people who quit the business. Well, in most network marketing companies, the company will only pay you the $4 per person on the spaces that are filled in. Right? And let's say your Connect Four has only nine levels, right? Just like our matrix, nine levels. Now, what ends up happening is at the end of the month, because you still have people on level 12, 13, 14, maybe even 21, 22, right? You have people who join the business from people that are under them, under them, under them, right? What happens is at the end of the month, the computer goes to the very last level. And let's say you have somebody 30 generations down from you. They're on level 30. The computer is going to go to level 30 and push everybody up to fill in all those empty spaces. And if you can fill in all of those empty spaces, that's what it's gonna pay on. So you get paid on your full nine levels, right? When your matrix is fully compressed, 
right? 29,523 seats. Let's say you have a team of 40,000 people, right? But 20,000 of those people are on levels below level nine. So the computer is going to go all the way down to the bottom, push everybody up to fill in all those empty spaces. It's going to pay out the $4. It's going to cut the check. Once the check is cut, everybody falls back into their space. Does that make sense? So even though Stephanie, who was in my number two spot, even though she quit the business, when the matrix compresses, somebody on a lower level is going to fill in that spot so that I at least get the $4 for that position. But then once the check is cut, everybody goes back to whatever level they were in. And I still have those dead spots in my matrix. Does that help everybody understand what the compressed matrix means? So, Tanisha? Yes. So, compression only happens during pay time, pay period. Yes, correct. Correct. Oh, okay. And then everybody drops back to their positions. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, Nicole is saying uh, she understands, but she was told momentum would kick in at 50,000 and we will double quickly to 100. So, Momentum, some people right now, Nicole, are experiencing momentum. So you as a person can experience momentum and the company not be in momentum. But the same thing happens in reverse. The company can go into momentum and you not experience momentum. So if you're not doing anything, the company could be growing, you know, a thousand people every single day. But are are even 100 people joining your business? Are even 10 people joining your business? If you're not working your business, you will not experience momentum. But so even now, Nicole, the company is experiencing some momentum and most of that is being forced by Mr. Orlando Moore's team because he is an amazing leader. He's developed great leaders and the leaders are teaching their team how to run. So. Orlando Moore's team, I would say almost single-handedly, is pushing the company into momentum because you got people working social media like Natalie Graham, right? Kemet Turner, myself, right? All of oh, our team, all of us are using social media. The rest of the company is not so much. They're just now catching on to the whole social media thing, but we've been doing it since day one. So it's people like us that are also helping push the company into momentum because we're accessing people from all around the world. So does that answer your question, Nicole? Or help you understand that a little better? Alicia, Alicia said, what if they cancel before their 30 days? If they cancel before the 30 days is up, they get their money back, but guess what? That spot is still dead. Oh, because man. they occupied that spot, they canceled, the spot is a dead spot in your matrix. Oh. Nicole asked, can people reinstate to their spot? Nope. If Stephanie was to come back now and say, okay, I want to start again, she's going to end up at the bottom of the matrix. She can never get her spot back. It's done. I got another question. Yes. Okay. So, like when I've heard uh, Donald, Doc, um, Mr. Bradley say that um, directors are insured to get whatever it is that's coming to them, even if they're short, they don't make it during their during the month, you know, during, before the pay period is up. Yes. And he'll he'll, compens he'll compensate the portion that they'll make up the portion that they're supposed to receive. Is that during the compression time as well? No, so that is referring to, so what Mr. Bradley says is, as a one-star director, you are guaranteed no less than $1,000 a month from all income sources. So remember, as a one-star director, someone who has a team of 100 people, you are getting, number one, a $500 director bonus. All right, so there's the 500. If you have a team of 100 people, you're getting paid $4 per person. So let's say you only have 100 people. So now that's $400 on the residual side. So now we're up to 900. 
what he's saying is if nobody on your team makes a sale, that means there's no 50% check matches. There's no team bonus. Nobody does anything. Your team right. just does nothing. There's no money coming in from anywhere. He's saying, we did something wrong with this compensation plan and we're going to pay you the extra $100 anyway. But think about it. With a team of 100 people, somebody's going to make a sale during the month. There's a team <laughs> bonus that's going to be paid out. There's a 50% match that's going to be paid out. There's a $50 direct sale commission that's going to be paid out. It's almost impossible. It's unlikely that with a team of 100 people that nobody does anything for that entire month, it's, it's, the chances of that happening are slim. I'm not saying that it's never happened, but I haven't heard of that. Right. Okay. So that's why he can say that with confidence that as a one-star director, you're going to make a check with a comma in it because there's 900 mm -hmm. off the bat in residual. Got it. Great question. Great question. Tabitha says, what is the best way to find people on social media? So Tabitha, are you familiar with the Just Ask Peak Interest script? That's the best way to find people. <laughs> but also in groups, right? So once you guys really you know, get comfortable with the Just Ask Peak Interest um, script, really start utilizing, I want you to, when you're sending out the script to just people that are on your friends list, right? Some of you are going through all the A's and then the B's and then the C's. What you're doing is you're fishing, right? You're throwing your net out there and you're trying to see what you get, right? And so there's some people on your friends list that are professionals. There's some people on your friends list that are not professionals. There are some people on your friends list who don't have jobs. There are some people on your friends list that are not motivated to do anything but sit on the couch and play video games. There are some people on your friends list that are looking for an opportunity and they're just waiting for you to share, right? So you kind of, you're just kind of throwing your net out there and, and waiting to see what you get. But I want you guys, because we are in concentration, because we only have until we hit 100,000 active agents, before we go into momentum, I want you guys to start hunting. I want you to start hunting. I want you to be intentional about the people that you're going after. Remember, our target market is the upper middle class. You are looking for people who have $200 but do not have a lot of time. Doctors, lawyers, real estate agents, insurance brokers, we're looking at teachers, anybody in the nursing field, anybody who's in management, anybody who, um, anybody who works on commission, those are the people that we're looking for, right? So imagine you join, how, let me ask you guys this, how many real estate groups are on Facebook? Groups with just real estate agents, right? How many groups are there on Facebook with people that are in the medical field, right? Nursing groups, tons of them. And then if you break it down even more, okay, there's lots of nursing groups on Facebook, but there's probably nursing groups for Georgia, nursing groups for New York, nursing groups for Boston, nursing groups for California, nursing groups, you see what I'm saying? They're regionalized too. People will always create a group just for their region. So pick a market, pick a, pick a target, and then find the group in that target, and then you start hitting them up, right? And think of special interests that you have, right? Tabitha, do you like wine? Tabitha, are you a wine drinker? Do you like wine? Tabitha, what kind of wine do you like? Tabitha said, yes, I like wine. You like Moscato, Tabitha? <laughs> That's my favorite wine. But Tabitha, let's say, you join a wine lovers group of Pennsylvania, right? And then I'm sure there's a wine lovers group of California as well, right? So there's probably tons of wine lover groups. And let's say Maria is in that wine lover group of Pennsylvania. And Maria does a post in that group about this new Moscato that she just tried. And she says, it's delicious and you need to try it too. So Tabitha, because you're in that group, 
it's going to be easy for you to engage. It's easy for you to like posts, comment on posts, initiate posts about wine because you are a wine lover. Now that you've commented on Maria's post, and let's say you do a comment that says, thanks for the recommendation, I'm going to try it this weekend. You just showed up in Maria's notification. Now remember, you and Maria are not friends. You're only in the wine lovers group of Pennsylvania group with her. Now, when you private message Maria, hi Maria, I know we don't know each other, but I just wanted to reach out to see if you were open to what it is I'm doing to make extra money, create residual income, and travel more without it interfering with what you're currently doing. If you're open to it, I'd be happy to share a little more information. If you're not, no worries, totally cool. And it's still nice to be connected with you in the Wine Lovers Group of Pennsylvania. Now, Maria is going to say, I'm not friends with Tabitha. Oh, that's that girl that commented on my post about the Moscato. So she's probably going to be more open to listening to your opportunity because you're in the same common interest group with her. So does that make sense, Tabitha? Does that help give you an idea of how you can really use that script to hunt and not just to fish, throwing the net? I yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Awesome. And you could do that with anything. If you love dogs, how many dog groups, dog lover groups are out there that you can engage with, right? If you love um, do-it-yourself projects, there's tons of that. Couponing, oh my gosh, those people love to make money and save money. If you are a couponer, you should be in every couponing group on Facebook and just hitting them with the Just Ask Peak Interest. Because the moment you say save on travel, they're going to be all over it. All over it. All right. Any other questions? We got one more minute. What What's the Just Ask Peak Interest? So Samaria, uh, Samaria, who... Who enrolled you in the business? Have you had your onboarding yet? Samaria? Okay, so who's your upline director? Do you know who your upline director is yet? Reach out to your... Uh, Lisa Henderson. So is that under Tamikia or Sinia? Anybody know? Under Sinia. Under Sinia. Okay. She's under Stacy Smith. Lisa, Lisa brought me into the business. Lisa okay. Henderson. All right. So Samaria, I want you to reach out to Stacy and she'll go over the script with you. All right. And for all of you that are on right now, when a new business partner gets onboarded and you're going over the planet marketing side, the very first thing you should be going over with them is the Just Ask Peak Interest script. That's how they're going to make their belief check. That's how they're going to see um, that this business really works. That should be the first thing that they're exposed to and help them identify their top three people for those million dollar seats and say, okay, send the script out to them. That's what I'm doing now when I'm onboarding new people. Okay. Dorothy said, I just gave her an idea to join a photography group because she loves taking pictures. Exactly. Dorothy, that could be a lot of money for you because who wants to just take pictures of places in their city, right? If I'm a photographer, I have dreams of going to Bora Bora. I have dreams of going to Italy and would love to do photog you know, take pictures in all of these exotic places. So when you send out that Just as Peak Interest script, you know, you can kind of tweak it a little bit to, you know, say, are you open to, you know, um, make extra money, create residual income, and travel the globe to do photography? Boom. They're going to say, yeah, I'm open. <laughs> and that's all you want. You just want to you know, get a yes from them so you can get the information in front of them. All right, guys, it's 9.01. I have a nine o'clock call I have to do. Um, thank you all for joining. 
Um, we have another great topic for you next week, so I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but we have another great topic. Um, I'm going to upload this to the YouTube channel, and then I will share it in our team group. So thank you all, and have a great night. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Amazing, um, amazing training, Tanisha. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing training, Tanisha. Thanks, Jerry.